meantime, one of the most powerful people in Congress getting a slap on the wrist after his own colleagues say he broke the rules. A House ethics panel admonishing Congressman Charlie Rangel for accepting trips to the Caribbean from a private company. The New York Democrat is chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee, which means he's the most powerful tax writing lawmaker in Congress. Where's this story going to go? Mm. Good morning, everybody. On a Friday, I'm Bill Hemmer. Welcome here to America's Newsroom. It's snowy out here. It is very snowy oh, out oh, there. Oh. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, morning everybody. <laughs> I'm Martha McCallum. Rangel says he's done nothing wrong. Here's the congressman defending himself late last night. Common sense dictates that members of Congress should not be held responsible for what could be the wrongdoing or mistakes or errors of staff unless there's reason to believe that the member knew or should have known. Asking me questions would just embarrass me because I can't give you answers. Hmm, if the member knew or should have known uh, is what he said. Rangel still faces ongoing investigations into other financial dealings, so not completely off the hook yet. All right, leading our coverage, Caroline Chavez, live in Washington. What did specifically, what did this report find, Caroline? Bill, it found Rangel's staff provided false information to the Ethics Committee before they got approval for this trip, and that Rangel basically should have known about it. Here's a key line in the report, quote, the committee does not find sufficient evidence to conclude that Representative Rangel had knowledge of the memorandum written by his staff. However, the report finds that Representative Rangel was responsible for the knowledge and actions by his staff in the performance of their official duties. Here's more of Rangel's reaction to that last night. I have to now deal with my lawyer as to what the hell do they mean that something's imputed? Does it mean that uh, no matter what a staff member does, if the member doesn't know it, that the member could be charged and admonished publicly for it? Rangel says he had no idea private companies were paying for the trip, but Peter Flaherty with the conservative group, the National Legal and Policy Center, says he should have figured it out because of a photo that Flaherty took. Flaherty actually went on that 2008 junket and said even the podium and banners around it were covered with corporate sponsors. The center said this photo and a complaint to the Ethics Committee. Now, the congressional report also says Rangel will have to pay back the money, and so will the five other members who went with him on that junket, but the report found those other lawmakers and their staffs didn't know about the funding so ethically, they're in the clear, Bill. Okay, but th this involves a trip to the Caribbean with a private company, which is against the rules in the House. But this is exactly. just a small part of what the Ethics Committee is looking into, is it not? You're exactly right. The big ones are still under review and really hanging over the head of this man who's central to the tax and health care debate in the country. One investigation they're looking into is his failure to pay taxes and report rental income on a villa he owns in the Dominican Republic. Another is using four rent-controlled apartments in Harlem, plus using official house stationery to solicit funds for a school of public service named after him. So those are all things brewing. No word on an investigation when that'll come down yet. Right. It's a developing story this morning. Caroline Shively leading our coverage there in Washington.